Here's my ProBoat <clears throat> uh, React 17 Hobby Wing upgraded. Let me open the lid and show you what I did to uh, brushless swap it. All right, here it is inside. There's the Hobby Wing 2040 SL brushless motor, then the Hobby or the Hobby Wing C King 30 amp 30 amp ESC, and I have a XT60 connected to it and then that's a tactic uh, servo so everything's been redone in here and then I have a fly sky radio so something that if you're gonna be doing this upgrade that you need to do is what I had to do is first of all I put washers uh, same washers that are used on Traxxas uh, shocks on the top of the two most two-wheel drive vehicles I use those because I start noticing the motor mount cracking a little bit around the screws from it being screwed too tight. So I put washers just to be safe. And I had to trim with a Dremel around. You can kind of see right there. Uh, yeah. You can kind of see it. I had to trim to get this zip tie and fuel line in because the fuel fitting the fuel fittings are a bit small for a this uh, ESC and motor and then I stuck the ESC right there there's the switch it does clearance perfectly with the lid and then for the battery I'm using just some cheap 1500 3s you can do 2s but 3s it's absolutely insane this is there's the information on that this is just from Amazon. And then what I did is I chopped the sides off the original battery mount with just some side cuts. It's not real strong plastic. I put two pieces of Velcro there and then there's three just little squares. But you can use a strap too around it if you wanted. But so then that just here I'll get it in real quick. It's kind of tough because it's got to like tuck under a little bit. I'll get that in and show you what it all looks like. There's the battery in. See how I was talking about? It's got to tuck in under the hull a little bit. And then I will show you. Or oh, one thing when you do do the uh, after like everything all redone, your servo gets a lot more throw in the steering. Instead of originally it was like that much steering, it does its full throw both left and right. So I will show you this thing all running and I'll show you some settings I had to do with the remote alright so I got it all I got plugged in the remote on you just flip the switch so the first three beeps were saying it's 3s and the last one just a confirmation here's the remote I have mine set as pro since the pro boat so I'll show you some settings I had to do for the endpoints for steering it's 60 both ways. Here, let me click on it. Maybe it'll. Yeah, 60 both ways. And then, because it was has so much throw, it's still kind of doing it now. I got to. This is the best I can get it. But it's hard. Just a little bit there. But that's is about what you want it on if you're getting a fly scot. This remote's about 40, 50 bucks. I highly recommend this one. It has a pretty good range. I use it on my, uh, I have a Roven Baja, and this is what I use it on. So I just got another receiver. The receivers are 10 bucks for them, but they come with receivers. So then the trim I, for the, uh, so for channel two, the throttle, I did obviously 100% forward, and then for backwards, so that way when you're in reverse, it doesn't backwash all over everything. I did a 10% reverse, so it does a nice slow reverse. That way you're not just full throttle blowing in water through the, in here or whatever. But yeah, if think that's it. If you guys have any questions, let me know. And then there is a video. If, uh, if you just search in React 17, ProBoat React 17 brushless, there's another video of a guy... Uh, of this thing running and I'll tell you what this thing on 3s is crazy like it's almost too much for this boat all right well 
just let me know if you have any questions. I'll try to help, and that's it.